Hey guys, welcome back to Valhalla. It's TJ Gamer Girl signing on. So last episode, we had an in we saw an interesting conversation between Alma and Dorothy, and had a nice time on the porch balcony. Yeah, balcony on the balcony with Dina, just drinking beer and talking. So we started chapter two. And we have a, we need to have eight thousand dollars for an electric bill. Oh boy. Okay. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augmented I talked about it, but very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that rogue due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think A got tired of her. Fucking shame. So all we'll get is clickbait from now on. Gonna get worse at the very least. Might not say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people already dead. How? Is someone there shooting people? It looks like it was the security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on in, Sinder Anon. You gotta give us more. Do all my best here. Thanks, based Anon. Explosion registered. And media is still quiet about it. Can confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs? Not just one? That's right. Do we have any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group. A new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned. And it looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set all this up. That's pretty ballsy. And this is just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Huh. Someone doing stupid shit on the internet is actually being useful. Ken confirmed the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, it's actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The files available from approximately 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages toward the servers inside of the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do, you, how do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed, Anon. Thanks. And AE. Danger U admin has been arrested. Again. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Danger you with a new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin known as Ferfer for a second time. We have no details to give other than other than that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrime unit's Lizette Blonde turned told the augmented eye during a call. We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Ferfer would only respond with a calm not this shit again. Nano Camo is making smart underwear? If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, Nano Camo has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. Just change the color to black and you'll barely notice. That won't change the smell though, they're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this innovative product, the P a PR rep told the augmented eye. I'm already using them. Super comfy if you ask me. <laughs> Four. You just thought about looking up prices. D did not. <laughs> uh, GSF January 4th card announcement, 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke hand headline. The blood feud between uh, Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's not the only match of the night. 
Further interesting ballots feature great workers such as the Great DK and Aaron's. Full card below. Oh, must be a uh, fighting thing. Alright, off to work we go. Monday, December 19th. Give Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for living for so many days without notice. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key is never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks. I guess. What? You gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people here that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss, why'd you leave a hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I see. I don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right. You still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Yeah. So, cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Do I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyways, let's start the day. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for a Dana Zane. May I have your name? I tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guy is looking for you! Tell him I'll be there in a bit! Show them. You heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come ask you for her though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Handle me like I'm just another client. Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Uh, let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Sugar Rush. Two Addle. One Powdered. Yeah, I don't think he wants any Carmo because that's alcohol. He's on the job, technically. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of the Sugar Rushes. Why? Well, they're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you'll only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Ah, oh, I never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana's talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Baha got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? 
You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? And about the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminal time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Yun bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing, don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? And if it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little a while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by asking as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh uh, yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. One suplex. Four Bronson. Three Flanner. And three Karma. On the rocks and mix. Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. And you can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian sign. R Robert here is from Argentina. So we- Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh, I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please, come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? No, really, no. Although, yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders? Top-notch bartender. Thanks. No, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I've received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Oh, I see. I wonder what boss will talk, about, talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. And give me a big beer, please. Huh, sure, on it. A big beer. That's double everything, so... Two Adelheide, four Bronson. Two Delta, four Flanner. And eight. Two... Eight. Are you sure you're fine? Um... You don't say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and... Oh... Right, that... So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit... condescending. Ugh, what does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? No, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure. Do I? 
Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Uh, sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? I believe it was Art Van... No, Vondelay. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me the answers about Say, whatever they might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Something sweet. Let's try... A moon blast. Three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three. On the racks and blend it. Moon blast. Here. Thanks. Seems to really like say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strict to the business. So say is more of a friend to me. She's more than a friend to me. She's She's... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I could be myself. I could do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, staying in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about that outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and... You could use some. No, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Oh, I really hope Say is okay. I'm gonna be so sad if she isn't. God damn, it's chilly outside. I'm bet. Eh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, cat boomer girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentions I bought to core offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny Zaibatsu Core is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has to enhance the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhance you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corps has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department? 
Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AI as a citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI Reformation Program, meaning that we're also the world's little imprisoned. AI went rogue, transferred to, to a delivery drone, and ship it to Gillage City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% sex rate. Sex rate? Wow! <laughs> Dorothy, you're a bad influence! Success rate about- success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Saibatsu Core's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. The stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh... Zyvasa Corps' main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey you, don't just sit there, give me a Zen Star! Sure. A Zen Star. Four of each ingredient. One, two, three. Four. On the rocks and mix. Okay, not aged, and on the rocks. One, two, three, four, five, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll just mix. Go. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. What else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging to only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. Oh, that doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. I hope it's the last thing you lose, I guess. If she's telling if he's telling the truth, say may have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um I'm just gonna make whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Two bad touches. <laughs> Bad touch. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. On the rocks. Uh, One, two. I was on Zen mode. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. I remember this one party I went to. This guy came up with the name of this drink. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. A bunch of people found that one out. They lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to, be, to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Joe? I'm... <laughs> I'm... 
<laughs> now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? It turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the, bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides the, la besides, the last thing I'm worried about with, say, is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back in general that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself? Whoa! I once saw her take care of a war bot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. Surely she found a way out. <sighs> I just hope she's well... wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. You sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine, get his order. One piano man. Two Adelaide. Three Bronson. Five Powder. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Box, mix, go. Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contract my contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on safe situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? <laughs> Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. <laughs> Thanks. This place is soothing. I'll just go and sit over there near the arcades. Alright then. That'll be all, Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with, um, Robert. Brain, you have a meeting... You have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh, but isn't Miss Hoshi herself? Oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. You busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Joe, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um... This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's more interesting that what? It's finally hung up. Phew, it's been quite a day. Well, at least the streets are calm today. I have arrived yet again at the. <laughs> oh god, at the majestic hall of here. Oh no, r slash. I am very smart. Just walked back in. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm per pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said that much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Polite sim pl the society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. <laughs> It's like, I don't care. Are you <laughs> you look winded? Are you okay since you run all the way here? We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides to, to wind us anymore. And yeah, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's um I was jogging. Just like that. I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Uh, of course. Something fake. Uh. Eh? Something fake. What? 
classy? Classy drink? Uh, a brand teeny? I'm just guessing here? One. Whoops, I'm on the rocks. Aged and makes. Go. There you go. And now tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a damn about abstract order are fake. Bravo, brilliant. Say for Jillio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really, what do you do? I study everything that comes and keeps it and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Really? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner just realize that, too? Yeah... I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly! Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Can't give him pure ingredients, so... Um... A, b a bottle drink? How about booze? <laughs> or rum? Mulan tea? Uh... Sweet... Moonblast? No, uh... Time. Promo. Bloom wine? I... No, he wanted... I... I Bubbly. Uh, frothy water. <laughs> there we go. I don't hide. Bronson. Powder. Planner. Age. Mix. Go. There. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm con consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ugh. Hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, huh, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep. Quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit! That Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff. Don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we last m when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with uh, Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also turning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him. So it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I say so, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. You alright, Jill? Yeah. Must be nothing. <sighs> a, so a, sh a shoulder massager. Six 
600 for a sh for a, for a, sh a shoulder massager. Are you kidding me? Hi, oh, babe. All right, I'll be ending the episode there. Next episode, we'll be meeting a new employee, a new part timer. I have a bad feeling about this. Till then, this is the Gamer Girl, signing off. Bye-bye.